check for femoral, popliteal, dorsalis pedis, and posterior tibial pulses. Additionally, perform a complete neurological examination, including sensory and motor function. Special attention should be paid to the motor function of the extensor hallucis longus and flexor hallucis longus, since these muscles are innervated by the sciatic nerve, which may be injured in a hip dislocation. Patients may require pre-medication, including procedural sedation and analgesia, prior to reduction of the hip dislocation. This determination must be made on a case-by-case -case basis.